Alrighty, Coach Steve and Coach Kelsey are going to demo these stretches for you. This video also apparently features our robot vacuum in the left corner there. So don't mind him or cheer him on as he gets after this. We're starting with a couch stretch to stretch out our quads. So Coach Kelsey's in the background. She has her back leg propped up against the wall. You're welcome to use a wall or a couch for this. And then bring the chest up until you feel the stretch in the front of the leg there. Coach Steve is showing another variation where he has his foot tucked right up alongside the other side of his leg. And he's leaning back as far as possible to get the stretch in the quad. Over time, I slowly increase my weight shifting back. If I feel like I'm pushing the stretch, I try not to go too far back though. Anytime I do decide to add more pressure to the stretch, I try to take a big inhale beforehand and then exhale and slowly get deeper into the stretch. You guys are going to be holding this stretch for two minutes on each side. While holding these stretches, I try to either close my eyes or count in my head my inhales and my exhales. So as I inhale, I'm trying to take about four seconds to breathe in, and then I hold the breath for four seconds, and then I exhale for four seconds, and then I hold it out, and then I repeat. Your two minutes is up on that side, so we're having you switch to the other side now. Going to hold the second leg for another two minutes. We will mention that if you would like to also incorporate a hip flexor stretch here, it would bode well to squeeze the glute in the back and think of not so much pushing the hip forward, but trying to tilt the pelvis up towards your chin. This will give you a little bit more of a hip flexor stretch as well as a quad stretch back there. While coach's, Coach Steve's leg is back, thinking about squeezing the quad as well, just like Coach Kelsey said, just a little more modification to the movement. Sometimes it's not as extreme when you're laying on the ground with it or sitting on the ground. Continuously get that breath, good inhales, good exhales. If at any time you feel like the stretch is too much, please come out of it a little bit and start to work back to where you left off. Almost there, you guys. Nice job. Go ahead and move out of that stretch. We'll go into our second one. We call this a twisted cross. You're gonna lay on the stomach, have one hand flat, other arm is straight out. You're gonna push with the flat hand, rotate your body, and we want you to feel the stretch in the front of the shoulder where the arm is straight. You get a little rotation through the spine as well. One minute each side. If you want to increase the stretch over time through the stretch with that free hand out in front of you, just apply a little bit of pressure and that will 
twist the spine a little bit more and also get that shoulder opened up a little bit. You might feel this in the chest area as well. Go ahead and switch over to the other side now. One minute on the other side. Sometimes the shoulder stretches can create a lot of tension and it's very stressful on the body. So Coach Kelsey and Coach Steve do a great job at trying to just relax into the stretch. Try to relax the mind, relax the head on the ground. Hand can be palm up or face down, palm down. It's up to you. Try not to let the hand drift too far down. Think about it being straight across from the neck or the head. Almost there, you guys. All right, we're gonna move into our third and final stretch of this one. This is called a half split. We're going to kneel on one knee, stick one leg out in front of us, take a nice deep breath in, and as we breathe out, move the chest down over the leg. Once again, we're going to encourage you to just relax the body, keep the breathing long and deep, and allow your body to just plop wherever it's going to plop. You notice Coach Kelsey and Coach Steve's backs are rounded so that they are in a relaxed position, not engaging the core as much. You're going to feel this underneath the leg, so the hamstring. So if you notice, Coach Steve comes out of it a little bit. Sometimes the tension behind the knee can add up over the time on this stretch. So feel free to bend the knee a little bit if you need to. Just feel the back side of your leg get the stretch, possibly the lower back, if you're able to get your head down further towards your knee. Can also significantly change the stretch by flexing your front foot. This will increase the stretch. You guys are almost there. You have less than 30 seconds left on this leg. All right, come on out of that leg and we'll switch into putting the other leg in front for your last two minutes of this stretching routine. Just a reminder, you guys, sometimes one leg is a little more flexible than the other. So you might feel more discomfort on one side rather than the other. Just take your time on each side. Each side will vary as far as pressure. But always remember to breathe during this one. Try to relax your neck and your jaw. Try to relax that upper body because you're going to feel a lot of pressure on the lower half of your body on this one. Great job. You guys have less than one minute remaining. Try to completely give in to the stretch and think of total relaxation for the mind and body. Nice work, you guys. Sometimes the mind wanders when we're stretching. Try to bring the thought back to yourself. Try to relax the areas. Be one with the stretch. We're almost there, you guys. 20 seconds. Good 
And slowly pull your body out of the stretch. Great job, you guys.